Let's talk about three pagination strategies that you can use when designing your APIs. The first one being offset and limit. Let's say user sends a request to the API. Now he has to send in two parameters, which is offset and limit. Whereas offset is nothing but how many records you would want to skip from starting and limit is how much you want to see at one go. So for a value of offset one and limit 10, you see results from one to 10. And if you set the offset to 20 and limit to 10, you see the results from 20 to 30. Now this strategy allows you to kind of do a non-sequential search because of the privilege that you have for setting the offset value. And this fits in really well for the use cases of let's say e-commerce search, wherein you search for a product and you see all these options and you hop from first page to third page to fourth page, giving you a free choice to maneuver the entire website. So this approach has its limitation, which is that it works really good when you have less data, because if you have a huge database that you would want to return for a value of offset, that's really large. The system will have to iterate linearly to that point and then fetch you the relevant results, hence making it a little inefficient. So the second style is cursor based pagination, where again, you have a user that sends a request to the server, but here you have now two different parameters. One is next cursor. And the second one is limit where limit is something that you'll have to explicitly define as a part of your API and next cursor is what gets returned from your previous query is just what you have to forward to the next one. But if it's your first query in that session, then the next cursor value is none. And the limit anyways, you're defining, let's say the value of 10, which is you want to see 10 results at a time. So there are many ways of how you define next cursor. One of the ways is to just have a pointer at the last record of the 10 samples that got returned. And in the next query, you start from there to the next 10 sample and you keep repeating this process. So you see, right, this is a sequential style of pagination, wherein unlike the previous one where you could hop from, let's say page one to directly page five and then three, that is not possible in this style. You'll have to go sequentially in the list of records based on the limit that you decide. Now, this is often suitable in the cases where you have infinite scrolling implemented and also it's pretty efficient when you have large amount of data at the back end. So the third style is called bucket or page based pagination, wherein you kind of create buckets or clusters of n number of documents per cluster. So for example, if you had 10,000 records and, and if you'd want to just show 10 records per query, so that brings you to having 1000 clusters or buckets, which is a lot less to iterate through compared to the one that we had for limit and offset strategy, right? Because there, if you set a larger offset of, let's say 9,000, then you'll have to iterate through first 9,000 records in a linear fashion. And then only you get to the 10 results that you'd want to show off. You can make it even efficient by combining offset and cursor strategy by reducing your cluster size by let's say 10 and increasing per page display by 10, which is hundred clusters and hundred elements, making your offset parameter more efficient. And for those hundred elements that you show on the screen, you can have an infinite scroll over there where you implement cursor brace pagination. So yeah, that is it for this video. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe and share it across with your friends to whosoever is interested. Bye-bye.